I don't know, IG, only 2k behind, and they might feel like they can take a team fight here with the BKB activated by Ori, though. They're gonna start backing up. PYW jumping in. Once we be able to find somebody, has the stolen bow too, is gonna throw it onto this Doom. He's gonna be victim of the Phantom Lantern. His many illusions, though, with JT popping his BKB, looking for a kill. I nice stuns it. Nice. Centaur's done and dooms up the Drow Ranger. Stays on top of him while Ori is being dealt with by the Phantom Lancer. Burned out of all of his mana. A torrent on to two. Yang throws out his flame, but now their damage shields are completely out of this fight. The overgrowth will allow them to be able to back up a little bit. The Drow Ranger is actually so tanky, the Doom isn't doing quite enough. And Flyfly, Fly, swap back, oh is going to be able to get away, but the Vengeful Spirit dies as Eurus is able to get those refraction procs off of the arrows, bringing down the Venge and bringing down Kaka as well. Man, that fight looked terrible for Vici, but you can see really good job there, kiting back through the choke point. Yang just shot pit. Uh, they know it's whoa. about that timing. They're going to go for Team YC. They can burst him down. But a nice hit coming in from the side. Oh, here comes the Doom. They've already got the uh, at least one Doom out onto the Venomancer, but still, they're trapped inside this pit for so long. Emo's almost dead already. He needs to be able to run himself away. Rubik's still Doom again. PYW. He's looking to be able to chase some of these heroes down. Gets netted up for a second. The net actually landing onto the oh, Phantom Lancer, locking him down. And then that Doom is finally in range. Cast it on the Phantom Lancer. They're going to buy back, trying to save this uh, carry of IG, but I think he's just going to be Chase down. He's going to be pulled back in by the telekinesis. No hope of savior here. And he has no buyback. That They just played into Vici's hands. They dove through a choke point. Another nice pit. JT gets Doom stolen. If you Viper was solo, Doom, you don't. IG, you want to fight us? You've got to try and get on top of us. We'll just kite back. At the same time, Fly Fly, he has his own plan, this own little war of attrition. He wants to burn out these heroes out of their mana. And then maybe they can finally commit. They're going to pop it with a, the Grimshow Bolt. Into Overgrowth, a really good position. Against the Doom. They do have the boat coming in to try and help out these heroes, but Fly Fly already getting so low from Ori's right clicks. He has to Doppelganger out of this fight. They're going to go for the kill onto the Drone Ranger as the Aegis has expired here. Hoping to be able to finish him off with a Torrent, but he actually misses that one. Emo still trying to chase him down. A big swing, still not enough. And now the Drone Ranger has turned onto him. Ollie hoping to be able to protect JT by giving up his own life, but Ori is a monster on the front lines. Nobody can challenge the mid laner of Beachy Gaming. He just flaps his wing and shoots his goo and wins the game. I, no comment, Captain. You see it. They're, they're forced. The Grimstroke goal comes out. You get it on Rubik and the Drow. You can't really hope for more. The Aegis fades during the engagement, but there's absolutely no damage. Ori is standing on the high ground unchallenged, just auto attacking everyone to death. There's just no there's no DPS. Stolen Torn. And uh, yeah, you just go for Throne. Why not? Three heroes dead. Three heroes with no buyback and IG. They are certainly going to call the GG. And that, well, it was certainly a faster game than our last. A sleep into a Fisher block, into a bunch of race. Spark Race. I mean, you could throw those Spark Race from so far away. But Yang is still very tanky. He's going to survive through a lot of this one. And he just threw out the Tempest double to finish out Yang. Does manage to get that kill. The Axe back onto uh, Ollie. And he will probably be run down. Okay, Winter's Curse. And look on the side. Pocket's uh, ready to go. The boat's going to come in. That's still not enough to finish off all his Fly Fly joins in. Nice vacuum up the cliff. There's that Surge. Look at him go. <laughs> Level 1 Surge is so, underwhelming. so useless. It's funny. Darks, if you hit a 3-4 man Wyvern ult or vac into boat, it could be big. Doom onto the Razor. He's very... Or Konka, he's dead. Yeah, he pumped Fink and, a few times because oh he wasn't God. sure, but PYW, he tries to come into this, instantly dies as well. They're going to buy back and fight this. Oh, really? They think they can take this. Emo trying to go for the TP out underneath the pit. That doesn't work so well, my friend. Fly, fly. He's going to be able to get off Wukong's command, and it's enough to get the kill on the Yang. So all those buybacks did result in at least one kill, but they would love another, and that's where the vacuum oh. pulling him back in. Oh, oh, the oh now. God. And now the Echo Slam, a three-man Fisher to seal the deal. They're not going to be able to finish off that Monkey King. He will kill Ori, and now he might be able to kill Eurus as well. Actually, he's got to back up. It's still a little scary. He's missing a lot of armor from that uh, lightning. But... JT, he's a little bit more willing to commit. Kaka with a Fisher block in. PYW just has to try and go for kills, but not able to get any of five-man wipe. Make it like seven-man wipe because of two buybacks as well. From he will kill Ori, and now he might be able to kill Eurus as well. Actually, he's got to back up. It's still a little scary. He's missing a lot of armor from that uh, lightning. But... JT, he's a little bit more willing to commit. Kaka with a Fisher block in. PYW just has to try and go for kills, but not able to get any of 
five-man wipe. Make it like seven-man wipe because of two buybacks as well oh. from DG Gaming. All for an Arc Warden. Unbelievable. The di oh my god. The back, if it pulls him out of the mobile, suddenly you're the one who's susceptible and uh. you're the one that can't die. Oh, Trying no. to kill Tempest double, but he's gone a little bit too far forward, or he still doesn't have that BKB. So down with Flux, they're going to doom him up as well. But the Winters, uh, okay, they're going to be able to save him with the Cold of Brace for a little bit of time. Can he actually get back to the Fountain? It's going to be a bit of a close call. He's going to take out too soon. They <laughs> deny him instead. Do you get permanent damage for that? I don't believe so, no. But if you no, did. No. But if you did, that would be hype. Don't think it would change what's happening right now to their Tier 3. Look at Fly Fly. Positioning himself to try and get some sort of pounce in, but oh. it's Taka who pounces first. The two-man Echo Fiend's grip onto the BKB and Razor. So that's going to be a wasted BKB pretty much. Still not enough to be able to finish off Yang, who now turns around, gets a pit of Malice on Ollie. Ollie in trouble is going to be X back into that pit. The buybacks are effective in getting a fine position kill. IG just found an opening. Getting a free kill onto Winter Wyvern, who does have a buyback but they're like poking at IG, hoping that something's gonna break here, but instead it's just Vici Gaming Heroes. They keep on breaking. Another kill, two buybacks, but a melee barracks still dead, and Vici Gaming still unable to find an opening here. BKB activated by Monkey King, so he doesn't have that, but uh, you can't even deal with his Tempest double. <laughs> this Emo, his illusion is single-handedly beating the team to death. The Winter's Curse, okay, that's gonna go out. Oh. PYW still down. Boat on to two, that's controlling them. Fly Fly still has the Tempest double as well. The Wukong's man, Vichy Gaming, they gotta get out, but they can't get out, because now the Fiend's grip is holding yours in place. Enough for Emo to be able to get that one kill. Doomed yeah. up an hour, he's like, ah, that's it, I'm out. It's 38 minutes of this. I'm tired of losing. Let's just go on to game. You're left on an island, but you can kind of expect the Abad to die, and he doesn't really impact the game too much. He got out of position, stayed a little bit too far forward. The two supports rotating over, should catch him out. He's going to be slowed down. He has to run north here. The supports are coming in, so maybe he could somehow loop back to them if he could only juke. Whoa, the stomp coming in, doing a lot of damage. Oh, it here. looks like Ollie's going to die with Ori here. They might be able to kill Fly Fly as well until the boat actually comes in. Ori taking so much damage, so much physical damage, they may just be able to overwhelm him. In fact, they do. A three-man stomp from DY will help him in PW get back except for the fire spears woke up emo so he's doing a little dance a little jig because all of a sudden he's back baby he just finds a torrent kill on a pyw as well kaka dota ran the only path there was no real vision through that top river as you said continue to farm armlet picked up will be each timing oh fly fly oh fly fly got a little bit low there but more stuff to oh, strike. Ori. Ori's coming in. He's going to be able to go for the support. But the knockback there of a full morphed up strength uh, morphling knocks it backwards, but not good enough. Looks like Emo, he's going to be dying here to the Fire Spears. And they're going to turn around with the impetus damage doing so much. Ori closed the distance, so hits the disarm as well. JT needs two more shots in to be able to finish him off. And it does manage to get it, but he might die in return. One hit from Eurus isn't quite enough as the heal just barely offsets the burning spear damage. That was actually so sick from Emo there to turn back into the rocket. If he survives, or rather, if he dies before the rocket lands, it's just gonna swap targets on one of his allies. Oh my oh, god. Oh, telekinesis, long range, oh, pull no. him back in. You stole his Fisher too. Kaka. Dog, I'm gonna have to have a word with you about these Fisher steals. Some of them are acceptable, but this has been one too many. And now Vichy Gaming have a big advantage, pushing the high ground with Yang, leading the way. Newbie's dead. Sure. Initiation oh. on a fly fly. Does manage to get away from him away, though, but Ollie may not be so lucky. The fire spears rain down on him. Vichy Gaming, Ori on the front lines is in, in a little bit of trouble. Pops the Satanic and will be able to keep his Aegis alive. He's going to keep on fighting, too. Goes for JT. Double disarms him, first with the Heaven's Halberd, then with the Q-Pop, disarmed again by Yang. He's just sitting here doing nothing. JT, he's waiting for his time to be able to put in some damage. Finally, he's got an opportunity, but then he gets dis he's disarmed again. Love it. They're just controlling the damage flow. I, the burst, I think he got... We'll see. Ori, he's just tanking through those impetus shots. With an MKB, it just doesn't seem to matter. He can't do enough damage to threaten this Huskar. They're going to have to commit a little bit more. It's going to go with the boat, but the disarm already placed on the Enchantress has to wait things out for a little bit longer. The boat 
Not enough, and that boat buff is gonna run out if IG don't commit too. Chain Frost is gonna be bouncing around a little bit. They do get the flat cannon shots onto a lot of these heroes, but it just doesn't seem to do anything. They're all so tanky. The Enchanter's already being dead. Look at him just standing under this Chain Frost. They don't give a damn about what IG has to throw at him. Earth Splitter out. That's gonna catch Emo and finish him off. Pull Fly Fly back in oh, as well. The and they're just gonna call it. That's it. IG, they put up a good run against Vici Gaming, but in the end, their older brothers of the Chinese scene will move forward.